Fred Film Radio, I'm Matt Mikucci from the 78th Venice International Film Festival and I'm very pleased to be joined by director Laurinas Baresha. Uh, thanks thanks a lot for being here. Thank you. Presenting the film Pilgrims, uh, which I watched, I watched last night, thought it was terrific. I guess, uh, would it be fair to say that this is a film, uh, it's kind of an investigation, right? I mean, it follows an investigation. How would you introduce it uh, in a few words? Yeah, it, it starts because... Uh, it starts as uh, some kind of a detective story, mm. but then it it moves on into an, an I think more of an investigation of what do we how do we cope with it like yeah. how how do you and uh, for example one like I, I I think the main characters are going to in search for uh, for their closure some kind of closure but of course the viewer because you start just by them driving there the viewer also has to discover what really happened. So, so it's. I think it's a discovery of feelings for for the characters and for the viewers to just like, discovering the whole story. It's also about personal trauma, and and I like yeah. the way that, that that you said. It's also to people trying to look clo closure for a tragedy that yeah. happened to someone that was very close to them. The title, though, Pilgrims, implies another dimension, almost a spiritual, uh, religious dimension. Uh, would that be? <laughs> well, basically. <coughs> When I, I thought of the story, it was really simple. They just go to the places which are important for them and a, in a way also like sacred because the, the really, really close person died there or, or so this place becomes some kind of sacred place. So I think it, it, it came naturally, this pilgrims. It's not connected like to any one religion, but I think it uh, pilgrimage is a universal concept. I think. Well, sometimes also they have you know uh, experienced things on a on a physical and spiritual level too yeah. when they visit these places. That's another uh, theme that runs throughout the movie. Is it true? This is something that I actually read. Is it true that it's inspired by your personal life too? I mean, something that yeah. you did with your with your uh, partner, your wife. It is uh, uh, inspired because it's shot in my hometown. Like it's a small village where I was born. So the stories around were always around, like uh, the the place where some someone got murdered, the place where uh, disasters, like traffic accident, happened. So these places, you know, they look now like really ordinary, but I know what happened there. So it's it's also part of my collective trauma. Like, this film is like dealing with this collective trauma. Yeah. What do you mean by collective trauma? Like uh, because uh, the film, there are the main characters and also there are the community of the town because ah, we have okay. to live there, you know. And we still, you, you pretend you forget. Yeah. You really don't forget. Like uh, if something this bad happened in in your, uh, your community, your proximity. So, so we are also dealing in a different way. Yeah. Maybe in a way that we are not. Uh, emphasizing a lot but still dealing so so this is I, I noticed as well uh, to the best of my knowledge there's no use of, of music yes. uh, is this related to a specific stylistic choice that runs throughout the film I I just this this is what developed naturally okay because following all the shorts and uh, <coughs> I just uh, shoot it and we work closely with a sound designer and uh, there are a lot of sounds that I'm really like this town gave a lot of opportunities there's an airport there's a big street there, there's uh, all of the nature sounds and I just couldn't find a place I, I, there for me uh, I, I understand that if someone's watching maybe there are places where you would use music but for me there's just no place for music there's there's sounds there's characters and there's silence so so I'm go this is one aspect that I still haven't like found how how do you use it so I don't okay. use it yeah, yeah well, I don't want to use it badly so oh, I just right. I just oh I figured it would have been because you don't really want to manipulate the audience's <coughs> thoughts in that way you kind of want to keep no but that the whole connection. film is a manipulation you know like oh. how we shoot how how we use the sound design because it's also created but it's maybe it's more hidden like if yeah. you use because for example for some scenes the natural sound is all crickets but it's how where they discover the body so we cut out this, uh, the ah, crickets so yeah. it's uh, i'm not against music i oh. just uh, i didn't find it uh, there was any space yeah. right here uh, what about uh, the 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 actors that the lead couple of the film uh, they're actually here in venice yeah. uh, 
Can you tell us a little bit about them? I mean, after all, it is them that we, we kind of follow along on this journey. Yes, and the, the, they, they are completely different how I found them because Gabby was the first one I cast. I cast her like one year before um, I shot the film and I only did uh, two, two, two auditions, like for, for one for this part I just uh, auditioned two, two actors and I really liked Gabby and we just like uh, we said that she will be the main character and then we tried to create the whole the whole cast around her and mostly like all the the all the re rehearsing, rehearsing we did with her is through her being at every actor's castings. Like she, she went for half a year of auditions where she just went and we, we tried different uh, male leads with her and the first uh, one we, we had, we had a very diff mm, he was 10 years younger. The, oh, okay. the, uh, we, we searched for an actor, he was around 30 and nobody matched and it was really difficult and Gedrus is my friend uh, and he's also an actor and I called him and I said I'm struggling do you know someone and he said I can do it but he's like 40, he's like 40 and 10 years older and it didn't match the script but I said okay I, I'm desperate come in and he gave like he was the first one that uh, came into audition sat next Gabby and they had the, the how do you call it uh, the chemistry like it worked like all the scenes that I thought I have to rewrite because it's it's bad. He is. Uh, he. He made them work. He made them work, and I said, "Then we have to." So I, ch I just. Yeah. Well, that's good. I have to <laughs> thank him because if not him, I maybe. I think the film would be uh, very different. Yeah. He's a he's a very powerful pr presence for sure. Yeah. They he, all are. He Both made of them this are. work in the first uh, first audition. Like he came in and there was no, no notes or anything. Yeah. Like he was the character. So. We'll have to wrap it up. But Thank it's been an absolute pleasure speaking Thank with you. you. Thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you. This is Fred Film Radio, the Festival Insider.